Hi, I'm Cliff Ruddle, and it's a big pleasure for me to be with you today and speak a little bit about canal preparation featuring ProTaper Gold. Let's take this uh, concepts that we just talked about with glide path management into this maxillary molar. We won't use the SX, which I normally would want to use to pre-enlarge the canal rapidly after the 10, but I recognize not all international colleagues will not be using the Shaper X. So if we're just keeping it to a two-file sequence, 10 and ProGlider, let's look at how the 10 and the ProGlider work in this maxillary molar. Now the roots look relatively simple you notice a little bit of curvature and maybe even abrupt curvature but remember the canals are more curved than the roots that hold them. Quite a bit of curvature in the apical third. Once the canal has been catheterized with a tin file we can come in with ProGlider. We can just let it run in advance towards length. If it bogs down lift it up a little bit a couple stops and notice how the debris will auger up the flutes so the blades become active and still able to engage dentin and not too loaded with debris. Move the file in a little bit closer towards length and when length is achieved we can remove the file. Notice all that mud. In the lateral view watch the instrument easily progress along the glide path of where the tin file was. Remember in glide path management we want a smooth reproducible glide path and we call that a secured canal and ProGlider can expand that canal so that easily the shaping files can follow.